When the canister package arrives, be sure the custody seal has not been broken. Open the packaging and remove the equipment, chain of custody form, TO15 sample information form, and support documents. If sampling with multiple canisters, match the can with the regulator number on the chain of custody form. Remove the brass dust cap on the canister. Attach the regulator to the 6 liter can using your fingers, being careful not to cross thread the nut. Tighten until snug with a 916 inch wrench only after finger threading. Make sure the brass dust cap on the regulator has been removed, if present, and let it dangle. Open the valve by turning it counterclockwise until the valve is completely open. Sampling will now begin. Record the initial vacuum on the chain of custody. It should read between minus 25 and minus 30 inches of mercury. If not, close the valve and check the threading to see if it is tight on the can. After the sampling time has elapsed, stop sampling by closing the valve on the canister by turning the knob clockwise. Remove the regulator using the 916 inch wrench and place the quarter inch brass cap back on the canister with the wrench until it is snug, again being careful to not cross thread the nut. Fill out the chain of custody and TO15 sampling information form, making sure to indicate at a minimum the analysis you require, turnaround time, and type of air sample you have collected. Before attaching the can to the regulator, loosen the brass cap attached to the chain on the end of the regulator, if present, and let it dangle. Now attach the regulator to the canister by aligning the male QT valve stem, which is on the can, with the female QT valve body on the regulator. Pull back the sleeve on the QT valve and insert the stem onto the body on the canister. Release the sleeve and ensure that it returns to its normal position. Gently tug on the regulator to make sure the two parts are attached securely. Sampling begins when these two parts are engaged. Check the initial vacuum and record it on the chain of custody form. If the initial pressure does not read between minus 25 and minus 30 inches of mercury, disconnect and then reconnect the QT valve. After the sampling time has elapsed, record the final pressure, date, and time sampling was completed on the chain of custody form. To stop sampling, uncouple the QT valve by pulling back the sleeve on the QT valve body and remove it from the canister. Fill out the chain of custody and TO15 sampling information form, making sure to indicate at a minimum the analysis you require, turnaround time, and type of air sample you have collected. When placing the regulator back into the shipping box, be sure the regulator number matches the serial number on the box. Please do not mark on the regulator box. There are tags on your cans for notes. Replacement costs of boxes will be charged. Be sure to completely fill out the chain of custody and include this with the canisters and equipment packaged for return to EMSL Analytical. Please fill out the TO15 sample information form to aid in analysis and reporting. You will find on this form different formats which you may choose to make data interpretation easier.